in this lesson, we want to find our voices and we'll give you some techniques that will allow you to breathe, allow you to hum, allow you to sing out. And right now you might be thinking, well, what if I can't sing? Or what if I don't like to sing? I think we'll give you a new perspective on using your voice. So there was a very interesting study about how voice lessons actually release oxytocin in the vocalist. Oxytocin is the relationship hormone. Oxytocin is released when we really feel good and we feel bonded to something. So there's a reason why it might feel really good when you sing. And it might feel even better when you're singing in a group. Now, singing in a chorus has also been studied in the research. And one investigation found that salivary immunoglobulin A, S-I-G-A, was enhanced while singing in a chorus. Now, this immunoglobulin A is a measure of our immune function. So, it actually tests how resistant we are to bacteria and viruses. Can music and singing make us healthy? Well, here's some evidence that it just might do that. So, we're going to explore our voices. Find our voices. Find ways to express ourselves that are creative. And find our creative selves in this lesson. <laughs> 